Hey guys, Game Boy 3800 here once again, and today, three new things, all from one um, very generous teacher, so thank you very much. Um, this here is a Dell Dimension 4700, um, it's got a Pentium 4 HT processor in it, no idea of the RAM or anything like that, that's what we're going to find out. Let me just um, tilt it to its side. It's raining outside, so it's a little bit wet. Ooh, four RAM slots and SATA cables. That's always a good sign. The other always a good sign is if it's clean. here and there but nothing major how much RAM does this have one gig of RAM okay and it's got um, two hard drives yep no, one hard drive, my bad. Alright, so that's the dimension. I will power on later as soon as I show you what else came. Hmm. It's even got vent venting here for a video card, which is always good to consider. Next up, a very familiar kind of computer. This is a HP Compaq NX9600. I've had many of these in the past. You should know that by now. This one is in um, really good complete condition. Even with the battery, came with the charger. Um, don't know how much RAM it has. Um, but it looks like it's missing at least one card. These computers are well known for getting very, very dusty because of all these fans on the bottom. Let's see how clogged they are. It's not a matter of if, it's how much. This is losing pressure. Let me just use this. clean. I do believe I have a small screwdriver around here. Yep. I'm just checking the RAM. Come on. It's got a single 512 in it. That can be upgraded up to 2.5 gigabytes, so I could add a 2 gig card right now if I wanted to. Um, hard drive, I will look at that. Just a few screws. 
and another one of the four screws. It would be too long to take apart for this short video. No idea if the battery works, haven't tried to power it on yet, so yeah. Now I have one more thing right behind me. This is an old Apple iMac. Pretty dusty, it's been in someone's attic for some time. If it was very heavy, you can definitely hear it. You could probably even see it. Yeah. So, that's pretty much it. And this is pretty much new because it's, um, it was given to my teacher for her old job. She just never used it and immediately shoved it up into her attic. And then gave it to me. It's also got this fly racing logo on it for some reason. And another logo on the side. So probably very slightly used by one of her kids. So, yeah. That's it for this video. Next video we'll be showing them powered up and everything. See you then. Okay, I got the iMac up and running. Um, from what I can tell, it's got um, Microsoft Office, I believe, somewhere on here. I saw it, I saw it. Probably not, I'm just seeing things. But it does have an you know, Explorer for Mac, um, QuickTime, an Elmo game. Um, I'm guessing a five gigabyte hard drive, and so on. It's got nothing in the CD drive I checked, and I don't want to plug in the keyboard because I found a spider web there, and I'm terrified of spiders, somewhat, a little bit. Don't judge me. All right, so pretty much moving on. We just let that thing power down. Well, oh, instant power down. I love Apple for one thing, and that's it. They can start up super slow, but reboot over. Well, reboot. I mean, shut down extremely fast. Next up is the compact. Supply lights up. Hmm, it's missing the screws for their back screen hinge thing. And it says it's getting a charge. Let's see what it says. Getting low on battery here, so. XP. I want to find out what processor this has. It's, these are well known for having extremely good desktop um, P4 processors in it. But they vary a lot. Anywhere from the 2.8 gigahertz up to the 3.6 gigahertz. Um, you can put in a 3.8 gigahertz and it will work just fine. It will just run hot. Preparing network connections. Control delete to begin.
Seems just has a passcode. I assume there's nothing in the DVD drive. I am right. DVD RW drive. Very nice. Seems I need to reformat the hard drive. So windows are shutting down. Come on, Windows, you can do it. Shut down. Be the apple. Shut down instantly. You can do it. There we go. Let's just boot into BIOS. No, no, we never shut down. Alright, so it's got a 3.4 gigahertz um, Pentium 4 processor. Seems to have the latest BIOS, 512 megabytes of RAM, hard drive self test. How big is the hard drive? And it's got the 128 megabyte video card, so it's pretty much the best um, you could get for this, close to it at least. 3.4 gigahertz is one step below 3.6 gigahertz. So she probably spent a lot of money on this and kept it in very good condition. So, kudos to her. Where's caps lock on? Let's see if the battery holds a charge. Most likely not, so, yeah. That's the compact. And now we get to the Dell. The Dell Dimension 4700. This time I will plug in the keyboard because I probably need to attempt to log on or if I want to check the specs going to BIOS. The computer you see back here is a build I'm doing with a 6 core processor. Can't wait to show you that as soon as I get the motherboard upgraded. Right now it's too basic. Only Two RAM slots, can't do much of anything with that anymore. Well, so I guess I'll shove the dimension back here. And I have the screen right here. Not going to do much on carpet, but... So, processor is a um, Pentium 4 CPU at 3 gigahertz. That's like, if I wanted to, I could swap the CPUs of the um, Compact and this. Got the same thing. Hyper-threading, no 64-bit OS. Too bad. It's got two 512s in it. Got the right date and everything. Video memory size. Okay. 
program my video audio on board. Boot sequence. Power management. Performance. Type is running on. Let's just put the HDD into performance mode with one gigabyte of RAM. It should do okay, but you know, don't want to do too much. Why is that one off? Alright, save and exit. It's probably also has Windows XP. Alright, Windows XP. I don't have much battery left, so let's make this quick. Let's do the old control delete trick. If only I had a mouse with me. I probably should. I do. It's very old, but it's fitting because this is a very old computer. Well, not very, very old, but you know what I mean. I actually had this mouse should plug into this because well I couldn't find anything else at the time and I could use it Hang on one second. Alright, I was able to log on to one of the accounts. And not much here, just basic Windows XP stuff. Um said um that the antivirus software is out of date. Obviously probably hasn't been run in years. And oh, pretty much that's a good desktop ready to go. So this will be given the proper Windows 7 treatment. It deserves be put down here, like downstairs or something for everyone to use or just to sell. It won't be a big sell because, you know, it's not something insane good and stuff like that. Oh, it's just a little mouse I plugged in worked. Okay. Next one which I'll have to show you, and I'm in the red battery zone, so time to shut off anyways. See you next time with the build of this computer. So, see you then.